Welcome to the Sailing EV YouTube channel. My name is Michael Potts. I live on this Scepter 36 foot sailboat. And in the last six months, I've sailed all the way from Canada, Toronto in particular, down the Eastern Seaboard, across to the Bahamas and back in at this moment, ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway here in South Florida, heading towards Indian Town Marina. And then in the last episode, we were in Fort Lauderdale. Check that episode out. In this episode, we're going to see what uh, Boca Raton is like. We're going to head north on the ICW. And this, is, this video is going to give you guys an idea of what it's really like out here in South Florida on the ICW in a sailboat. All right, let's get into the video. All right, it's the next day. So we got 7.3 nautical miles to go until we, until we get to um, Boca Raton, Lake Boca Raton is where I'm gonna try and get to today. Cause it's a bit annoying. Uh, I don't, I don't want to sound negative. I know, okay, there, there is a 25 mile an hour speed limit here and a 15 inch wave speed limit here in this part of the ICW here in Florida, between Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach. Okay, so nobody pays attention to it and it, it's, it's very uncomfortable. I was hoping to pull over and do some editing, but if you sit down below and the boat's always moving, the waves get reflected around. So it's just always rocking. So I didn't get much done. Anyway, so I'm moving on. Hopefully the other, uh, this Lake Boca Raton, we can tuck in somewhere and not have to deal with the motion of the boat. That's 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 what I'm trying to achieve today. Let's get through. There's uh, five or six bridges we got to go through. Let's get to Bo Lake Boca Raton. I'm also out of water, so I got to stop at a marina and fill up with, with water and diesel. All right. <laughs> about uh, managing your fuel water and garbage on a sailboat when you when you don't really have a huge budget what you can do is if you don't need fuel and uh, you need water and to get rid of your garbage what you do is just fill up a jerry can uh, full of diesel pay t whatever 25 bucks for to fill it up Okay, and then get your water and let your garbage uh, get your garbage off. They don't mind doing that here. The people here are very nice. People in Florida are some of the kindest, uh, gentle, smiling, happy people I've ever met. Every single person I've met has kind of turned into like a friend. You know, it's weird. Uh, I just love it here, guys. Florida's where it's at. I, you know, America is where it's at. I love Canada. I'm Canadian. I get that. I'll tell you. I love this country. I love, I love USA. Alright, so that's Pompano Beach, Hillsboro Beach Inlet right there. I could get out on the ocean. And it's, the winds are good today. Jeez. So tempted to do it. But we said we're gonna go this way and try and get into some uh, interesting areas. I've been out there before, so. We'll continue on, let's continue on. Oh, it's a beautiful day for sailing out there, folks. Woo wee! Look at that. That takes you to freedom, folks. Be out on the ocean, you can go anywhere. You wanna go to Scotland? Huh? Wanna go to the Mediterranean? Wanna go to South Africa? Wanna go to Bermuda? Could be done. Just a matter of time and will. Our mission right now is to get to Indian Town Marina. So we are very far away. But we're gonna get to, uh, this is a really, really cool sort of part of the ICW here. Say hello to these people, give them a shaka. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get to Indian Town eventually, but tonight we're gonna go to uh, Bo Lake Boca Raton. We're gonna check that out. Hopefully we can find a place where I can uh, be sheltered and edit. That's my mission. Bridge. 
bridge, Camino Real Bridge. Camino Real Bridge, this is the sailing yacht EV approaching from the south on Channel 9, come in over. Yes, name of the vessel is EV, Echo Victor. Uh, are you, is your next opening 2.30? No, nope, I'm just about to get started for 2.20. Uh, Copy that, I'll uh, increase speed. Appreciate the, the lift. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this one. See if I can drop my hook somewhere. Uh, let's see here. Jesus. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the other side where I see masts. See if we can get around there. All right. This is what it looks like here. Oh, there are. I'm gonna try for the north end here. Oh God. Let's see what it says. It says... I gotta bleed my engine. She's, uh, I don't know why. I think there's a leak in one of the fuel lines, but every once in a while, I gotta bleed her. So, anyway, I'm just waiting until I drop the hook here. We only got another couple minutes here, and we'll get in there. See where that red's now? Let's go there. That looks like a good spot. All right, it's not the best spot. Six feet deep right here. I can actually see the bottom. I mean, we're pretty low tide. I sh we should be all right. Uh, what I've done is I'll put a bunch of chain out, but I think I'll tighten it up once once it's set a little better, so I don't swing into these other things here. It's the thing you got to you got to worry about people that are on uh, on a mooring, you know, because they're they're not going to swing around like a person on a chain. A long piece of chain is going to swing around. They're going to have a short circle. You're going to have a large circle. You can, you can end up colliding with them. So, pretty sure no one here is on a mooring that's close to me within my chain reach. So, should be all right. All right. <laughs> Let's check this place out. I'm going to need to get some groceries, that sort of thing. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go relax for a bit. Boca Raton, Florida is a coastal city located in Palm Beach County. Its name translates to rat's mouth in Spanish, but the city's origins are actually rooted in agriculture. In the early 20th century, Boca Raton was primarily a farming community, with crops like pineapples, tomatoes being their major exports. However, after the Florida land boom in the 1920s, the city began to transform into a resort town. In the 1930s, architect Addison Meisner designed many of the city's iconic buildings, such as the Boca Raton Resort and Club, 
During World War II, the resort served as a training center for the Army Air Corps pilots. Today, Boca Raton is a thriving city with a diverse economy, including finance, technology, and healthcare. It's also the home of Florida Atlantic University and the Gumbo Limbo Nature Center, which offers visitors a chance to see uh, local marine life up close. But despite its growth and its modern amenities, Boca Raton has not lost touch with its past. The city's historic downtown area features many of Meisner's original buildings, and it offers a glimpse into the city's rich history. In the morning, I left Lake Boca Raton and headed north on the ICW, headed towards the town of Lantan. There's not very, there isn't very, there's no anchorages here. I don't know what to do. I mean, this guy, Jesus. I, I don't know what to do here. There's a 50 foot trench here and the, and the rest of it's like a couple feet deep. So I don't know. All right, uh, I gotta find an anchorage. Beautiful Florida. All right, let's go into the dollar store that's in here. Let's go check out this area here, check it out, see what's going on. Let's go do some exploring. All right, so it's a beautiful night here in Florida. Look at this, look at this anvil cloud. Classic anvil, storm cloud. Very cool. Look at the lines right there, isn't that crazy? Another one right there, there's like a double header. That just tells you there's weather moving in. So I'm gonna go ashore here and go to the dollar store and try and get some supplies, the things that I wanted in the first place. So it's quite a bit of a walk, but that's okay. Let's do it, it's, it's gonna be an adventure. Not very sturdy, is it? Jesus. Doesn't matter. All right, so the bridge is right there. There's a parking lot here, and the the store I need to go to is over there. So we'll be able to find it pretty quickly here. All right. All right, so I was able to get rid of the garbage, which is great. EV's right there with their anchor light on already. So when I come back, it's on people fishing look they even got like fishing areas where you can cut up the fish very cool this place is called lady k bar jack fishing which is kind of cool oh man that's one thing i miss is driving a car i'll tell you that much look at that beautiful jeep nissan i got a nissan another nissan it's pretty rare driving <laughs> my my car essentially is the dinghy right that's my car she needs repairs i'll tell you that much lady k very cool i think it's actually like saturday night or something i usually come ashore on the weekends when things are busy just for fun there's a lot more people at the bars and whatever kona bay cafe it's pretty empty so this is what Florida's like. This is it when you go ashore. All sorts of towns. Look at this place, palm trees, beautiful sunset. You got restaurants. So it's a great, it's a great spot, it really is. You know, you could be here for a full season and probably.
probably never see the whole town, right? It's like, look at this place, look. Bars everywhere. It's amazing. This is what Florida is all about. Essentially, Florida is a swamp, okay? Most of Florida is alligator ridden swamp. And they built up these areas. So anyway, some people told me today, they're like, yeah, Florida's not gonna be here in 10 years. I don't believe that at all. I totally disagree. Because just because Florida's a swamp doesn't mean it's not gonna be here in 10 years. Okay, this, this uh, rising ocean levels all the way through here. Now, I don't see this place getting, there are, there are no hills here. Right? It's not, it's very flat, the entire state. I don't think it's going to be bogged down with any crazy conspiracy shit like that. But we'll see. Rising sea levels, I don't know. Because it really is. The ocean is just right here, right? So if the water comes over through the parking lot, you could get it waist deep right here. And most of these buildings would be underground, right? So, wow, look at this beautiful street people live here like this is nuts absolutely nuts we got a wow crazy absolutely nuts all right let's get to the dollar store and grab some some groceries that's the only place that was around there is a Walgreens here, over there. It's just too expensive. You know, it's kind of like Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. So, off the hook yachts. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this. Off the hook yachts. Wow. That's what I need. I need an off the hook yacht. One that's powered by electricity only. You don't give it fuel. You know, it's sentient. It uses AI technology. The computer controls exactly how much water you need, when you need it. It's ultimately efficient, it's full of solar panels. It uses the wind and the sun and the tide. And you can go anywhere in the world without any diesel or gasoline. That's the whole point of this, right? Zero diesel, zero gasoline. That's what a sailing EV is, guys. So one day, I hope to achieve this goal. I'd like to make my own sailboat. Look at this place. I'd love to be able to make my own sailboat one day soon, which I may do. It's going to be, it certainly isn't going to run on diesel. It's not going to run on gasoline. There's, there's no doubt about it. So it is what it is. All right. So I've kind of given up on Walgreens. It's just too expensive. It's a place you go to, uh, like you, if you need pharmaceutical things, then you go there and you get groceries while you're there. But no, don't, don't just actually go there. There's a quick stop right there. Bait, beer, cigarettes, and vapes. There's a pizza place right there, look at this. Oh yeah, there's a train coming. I think I might go get a pizza slice, it's been a while. Let's see what happens here. Is the train gonna come by in a second here? Can we get through? Nice piece of pizza would be great, actually. I think we're gonna do that. In the meantime, there's a train coming. Wow, look at that. That was cool. Well, I'll get into Miami real quick, right? Come on up. No trains? We're good. Holy. Jeez. I need some work. Holy. It's all hot out. I'm wearing pants like an idiot. A true Canadian. Liquors, eat side pizza. Let's go to this place. Wow, that was really good pizza. I mean, amazing, amazing. I guess once you're on a boat for five months, anything's good, but that was really good. So, highly recommend going there. Pizza joint, Eastside Pizza, pretty damn good.
All right, let's get out of here. To the, to the I-95. This is crazy. Once you're back on land, you realize how crazy this world is. Like, it's just madness. Look at this. Land lovers. Wow. People just everywhere. Cars. You know? That's the good thing about living on a boat. It's a very simple life, you know? It's, it's nothing crazy. You learn to really appreciate the little things in life, you know? It's hard to be wooed by the big city. Lantana Avenue. Wow, there's a 7-Eleven. Haven't seen one of those in a while. It's supposed to be a grocery store, like, somewhere here. Over there, maybe? Wow, so they didn't have much selection, but the one lady gave me a Haitian drink, and I'm gonna try that. People in the States are so cool, I'll tell you. They're just, I love America, you know? I just love it here. Well, Rob Blind again by Walgreens. Jesus. It's the conversion that kills me. You spend 50 bucks in America, it's nothing. It's actually 70 bucks Canadian, so it's just like, oh my God. It's been like that all for five months, yeah. <laughs> tell you, you get a lot more value in Canada for your money than here, I'll tell you that much. Canada is just so, such a vast, huge place. There's places in North Bay you can get groceries, you can spend $100 and live for a month. Here you spend 100 bucks, you get nothing. Crazy, wow. Let's get back to the boat, see if the dinghy's there. Well, that's it, back to the boat. It was fun to be in the land of the living. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Next week, we head up towards Palm Beach and I catch a cruiser doing something they should never do. And you guys are gonna be blown away by what this guy does and, and just how he almost destroys an anchorage with, you just have to see. Just to make sure to tune in next week. It's gonna be an amazing video. Thanks to all my Patreons, supporters, and all of you people that have subscribed. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I hope you found it interesting and informative. You know, I hope you learned a little bit about what it would be like if you did get your own boat and come out here on the ICW. So without further ado, leave me a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Captain Michael, signing out.